this clinic is uh, particular because we've set up what we call a dedicated clinic. So we had several of these clinics. It started in the month of April. And what it is is that we basically cater to our clientele. So our clientele who have a intellectual disability or autism spectrum disorder and even physical disabilities. And what we do here is we cater to their particular needs to make sure basically the goal is to come together to have them vaccinated. So that was the primary goal. And what we have here is, like I said, we have um, people coming together. So we have specialized educators, we have nurses, we have readaptation assistants that were um, helping to facilitate transport. We have managers, we have a lot of people working behind the scenes. And um, like I said, all pulling together to make sure that we're offering our clientele a safe and um, a pleasant and positive experience with their vaccine. So, so some of the adaptations that we've done is um, for some of our clients that are a little bit that are not able to support wearing of the wearing of a mask, we are able to provide them with um, vaccine in a um, dedicated area. So they don't necessarily have to go through the whole process of going through a, a building and going through different stations. So we're able to we know that they're coming and we're ready for that. Anything that we can think of that will help help them. We've put in the right people. We've had nurses that will take the time. So nobody's in a hurry here. And uh, the goal, like I said, at the end of the day is to make sure that the clients do get their vaccine. Through our dedicated clinics, we have been able to vaccinate 630 clients for their first dose. And up until now, if th at the end of the day, we will have vaccinated about 480 clients. So that's a huge success on our part for uh, making sure that our clients with a disability who have autism spectrum disorder, intellectual disabilities, or physically disabled are getting their vaccine.